Most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. I try to remind people of this so that they begin to focus 110% on their own motherfucking life. Meaning they are an individual, despite they might have a coupleship, and that individual has to live a life. Most adults are responsible for earning their living. Meaning that they go to a job, they produce an income, and they take it home. When I'm talking about these things, I'm talking about people who not only live alone, but also have spouses, significant others, snuggle buddies, whatever you want to call them. But in life, we have to understand that our snuggling is not what's on the line. You see, most people are okay with a little bit of canoodling in public. But a lot of people are not really comfortable with those things. We are allowed to hold hands in America. We're allowed to put our arms together in links. But a lot of times people don't see what they're doing to you and me. They're so busy being satanic and ugly and dark that they never recognize God, who is, well, the covenant of the ark. You see, when we talk about God, people get upset. They think, you're a pagan. You don't believe in God. Is that what you think? And the answer is, no, you got the definition wrong. And most likely, by Derek Prince. And because you're so undereducated and ill-willed and lazy, you won't do a fucking thing right. And what I'm saying to you in the middle of the night, in the morning, because someone has programmed me to not be able to sleep fully and programmed me not to be able to feel a thing, that here's what's going to happen to you, you motherfucking shitbag, that when you programmed someone without their consent, God was watching you. So be prepared to die of COVID. When you involved the woman of my love, when you involved the love of my life, when you interfered with my online profiles, when you decided to attack my ex-wife, you literally ruined yourself. You went way too far in your thinking that you owned my life. You see, only Jesus, the Lord of everything, can own a life. And if I choose to believe in Odin, it's because I practice ways of old that Christians, Catholics, Methodists, Lutherans just don't think exist. And what we know as pagans and many Wiccans do is that God is very, very true. And God being true means that everything he makes is godly. Everything he takes is his. And everything you think to do to harm someone, you just put yourself in hell. Nobody said you could be someone who is saved by the bell before you go to God. You see, Jesus might have died for your sins, but he didn't die so you could keep sinning on people's lives in the name of God. So let's be clear, you bitch bastards who thought you'd sexually assault someone, sexualize their body, and put it out in front of the whole community without his consent. You've just committed created porn. In America, we do allow some pornography, but it's usually created by people who choose to produce that, who feel we need that, and openly we don't. But sometimes a little bit of softness helps people to get a little bit of a grip about the ways of old that God once chose. So when I talk to you about this today, I'm going to say you better fucking stay. Because if you don't pay attention to what God wants for your life, you could really end up in a lot of strife. People often want to blame someone for their difficulties. People often want to get out of their responsibility when they've caused someone difficulties. And I can promise you, as a man who is very true, that I've experienced a lot of harm in the last five years after I lost my wife, lost my son, lost my home, lost life, and openly have had medical abuse on me by people who aren't even lawfully allowed to practice medicine on me. You see, sheriff like to play games in Russian roulette with their ideologies about what is and and is or is and isn't of God and the funny thing about them is that they're the most vile and foul people you could ever hear in a jail and I had the wonderful experience to actually be writing manuals for the jail to improve the behavior of the people that just don't ever want to grow up they never want to give up their emotionalism they never want to give up their infantilism they never want to give up the fact that they, truthfully, in our world, are not God. But they absolutely want to try to be God 
over a lot of people, a lot of, over a lot of property, and over a lot of possessions that actually don't belong to them. But the saddest thing that's going on in our nation, the humility thing before God that, that people are doing all over the world, is actually sexualizing someone, actually dehumanizing someone, and actually thinking that you own someone else's sexuality or body. Human trafficking is absolutely here. Unfortunately, we hope it's not here to stay. But if you don't pay attention, you might not be able to keep it at bay. We have ill will coming into our nation, caused by foreign students and other people who claim to have money enough to be, be here, lay here, and play here. And the reality is, all I see from those people is ugliness, illness, and a, a total abatement, a total avoidance, a total disallowance of our laws.